Hi friends, we'll solve problem on curvilinear motion. See what is given in problem. The motion of a particle is described by the following equation. Motion of particle is described by some equation. X is equal to 2 t plus 1 bracket square and y equal to 2 t plus 1 raised to minus 2. That means x and y are given as a function of time t. Find the velocity and acceleration of particle at t equal to 0 second. As the equation of x and y is known in terms of time t, anyhow you have to find out equation of vx and vy, equation of ax and ay which is possible by differentiating equation of x and y. And then at t equal to 0 second, we will get resultant velocity and resultant acceleration. Therefore, first step in problem nothing but x equal to say 2 t plus 1 bracket square say equation number 1 and second equation is y equal to t t plus 1 raised to minus 2 say equation number 2. Now, if we will differentiate equation number 1 with respect to time t what will get here dx by dt dx by dt represents component of velocity along x axis. If we we'll differentiate to 2 t plus 1 bracket square that means what we will get here 4 t plus 1 and if we we'll differentiate this y with respect to time t dy equal to dy by dt equal to this becomes 2 into minus 2 means minus 4 t plus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 raised to minus 3 dx by dt is vx equal to 4 t plus 1 say equation number 3 and dy by dt is vy equal to minus 4 minus 4 t plus 1 raised to minus 3 equation number 4. Once we will get equation of vx and vy if we will differentiate equation of vx and vy, we will get component of acceleration along x and y axis. Therefore, differentiating this equation number 3, what we will get here? dvx by dt, if we will differentiate equation of vx, dvx by dt, actually vx is given as 4t plus 1, that means differentiation of this one equation, what we will get here? ax, dvx by dt, if we will differentiate 4 t plus 1 that means the differentiation becomes what 4 therefore ax component of acceleration is 4 meter per second square answer positive that means direction rightward equation number 5 similarly if we we'll differentiate this vy we will get d vy upon dt now differentiation of this vy vy is given as minus 4 this is minus 4 t plus 1 raised to minus 3. That means if we differentiate it becomes what? Minus 4 into minus 3. That means this becomes what? Minus 4 into minus 3 and t plus 1 raised to minus 3 minus 1. That means minus 4. Therefore, this one becomes ay equal to 4 into 3 12 into t plus 1 raised to minus 4. What you are writing? Equation number 6. Now, you have to find out finally what? Resultant velocity and resultant acceleration at t equal to 0 second. As it is t equal to 0 second, at t equal to 0 second. Using equation number 3 and 4, we will find out vx and vy. Now, we will substitute here value of t equal to 0 second in equation of vx where equation of vx is what? 4 t plus 1 that means t full put as 0 what will get here? 4 answer positive that means what will get here? 4 meters per second direction rightward. Similarly, vy equal to now vy if you want to find out again we will substitute t equal to what? 1 second therefore what vy will get here? Let's see what is given in equation it is minus 4 t plus 1 raised to minus 3 t is 0 that means 1 raised to minus 3 comes out to be 1 that means vy what we will get is nothing but minus 4 therefore vy is what minus 4 meters per second as we are getting negative answer 
what it represents is vy acts in downward direction as vx rightward vy downward that means resultant velocity if you want to represent graphically this one comes out to be vx rightward vy is a downward these directions are very important vy negative answer you are getting that means downward resultant velocity you will get in this quadrant resultant velocity will represent and inclination of velocity will represent by theta v therefore resultant velocity if you want to find out applying pythagoras theorem it is square root of vx square plus vy square that means this one square root of again 4 square plus 4 square that means 16 plus 16 that means root of 32 what answer we will get here velocity resultant Velocity of particle at t equal to 0 second comes out to be 5.656 meters per second. Now, if you want to find out angle theta v, tan of this angle theta v is opposite upon adjacent. Opposite is nothing but what? Vy. Adjacent is what? Vx. Both are 4, 4 meters. As Vy, it is downward. Negative answer you are getting for Vy. Assuming or considering this negative sign, we are represented in downward direction. Graphically, we are represented. Therefore, when we will substitute value of vy, we have to substitute with positive sign because direction already we have considered while representing this vy. Therefore, tan inverse of what will get 1? That means theta v comes out to be 45 degrees. That means magnitude of velocity 5.656 meter per second and inclination of velocity is 45 degree with horizontal. Similarly, at same time instant 0 second, you have to find out Ax and Ay, where Ax is independent of time t, therefore, again at t equal to 0 second, at t equal to 0 second, what we will get here Ax as it is independent of time, this Ax comes out to be as it is 4 meter per second square. But Ay, if you want to find out, now t equal to 0 second if we we'll substitute in equation of a y. It becomes 12 into this one is 0, 1 raised to minus 4, which one comes out to be 1. That means final answer a y, what we will get here is nothing but what? This one is 12 meter per second square. Answer positive. That means this is in upward direction. A x rightward, a y upward, that means resultant acceleration we will get in first quadrant. Therefore, I will represent here again graphically. This is a y. Ax rightward, Ax magnitude is slightly less, therefore length of this vector is slightly less and resultant acceleration if we will represent now, here in first quadrant, resultant acceleration is A and its inclination I will represent by theta suffix A, inclination of acceleration with horizontal. Magnitude of acceleration we will find out using Pythagoras theorem, Ax square plus Ay square that means what we will get here is equal to 4 square plus a y is 12, it is square. Therefore, resultant acceleration comes out to be, if you will calculate using calculator 12.65 meters per second square. Once we will get magnitude of acceleration, finding theta is easy. Theta a is tan inverse of a y upon a x. Both values are positive. That means, if we substitute here, tan inverse of a y is 12 and a x is 4. Therefore, theta a inclination of acceleration with horizontal comes out to be 71.56 degrees with horizontal. What is asking problem? Find velocity and acceleration at t equal to 0 second. What you are getting both the answers, resultant velocity and resultant acceleration. Thank you.